I'll keep shining my light, shining my light. Life with same, God is so good. And I'm thankful for so living, come join us on this fun life living, where we put God in the center living, of everything. Yeah. Keep shining my light. Hello, everybody out there. We are so excited to be with you. We have kind of like something that's a sequel today. So this one's going to be more about the wives, right? Absolutely. I talked last week about how it's uh, wonderful to protect your home and to protect your, your family and your wife. And today we're going to talk about what motivates a man to want to cherish his woman and protect her and treat her like his queen. Gwen makes it very, very easy for me to want to behave the way I do and to treat her with, with ultimate kindness, ultimate respect, and, and honor her in that way. She is so incredibly gracious, so incredibly grateful. She's, she's poised, she's very humble in her nature. And when I see those things in her, I think it's biblical. I think God set up a man's heart and, and maybe even a woman's heart to when they see their, their partner being ultimately gracious and humble with no pride. It compels the other person to want to really serve that person. Well, thank you. Thank you for all that. You are and, an amazing, amazing Well, lady. no, I, I, give, I give her a lot, of, a lot of years of just learning and learning and learning. You know, when I first started off, you know, in life, uh, I didn't understand what it meant to be submissive. And uh, it was a scary thing. I can remember <coughs> a time, honestly, where it, like, it would well up in my throat and I was like, what? You know, this seems so unfair. Or whatever and then I found I mean this incredible love of it and um, you know you said you, you know it took you a while to uh, come around to, to all this I mean because you had seen so much of the other behavior from well, where you were from anybody who, who knows me in my life knows that I came from the West Coast I spent almost three decades in Hollywood uh, in the entertainment industry and I literally can count on one hand, half of one hand, the marriages that I saw that were successful. A tremendous amount of divorce, uh, failed marriages, breakups, uh, a tremendous amount of turmoil going on with marriages out there. That's one of the reasons why I feel like I waited so long in my life to actually get married. It kind of actually scared me to, to, to make the commitment. And then of course, finding a lady like this mm -hmm turned everything around and made it made it easy for me to make that decision. First Peter 3, 1 through 7 says, Wives, in the same way, be submissive to your husbands, so that if any of them do not believe the word, they may be won over without words by the behavior of their wives when they see the purity and reverence of your lives. Your beauty should not come from outward adornment, such as braided hair and the wearing of gold jewelry and fine clothes. Instead, it should be that of your inner self, the unfading beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which is often great worth in God's sight. It's very powerful. I mean, the part about, um, like over the years, learning what gentle and quiet meant, and then that doesn't mean that it's just someone not sitting there. You could have like a, a gregarious person, but it's quiet in there's no arguments. Like there's a way that you can get to the point where the home is argument free and that makes for such a fun waking up day great day great evening and then just even through the evening i mean literally we are getting along uh, all day long in proverbs 21 19 it says better to live in a desert than with a quarrelsome and ill-tempered wife a quarrelsome wife is like a constant dripping on a rainy day. I'd kind of lost, potentially lost hope that I might ever meet somebody to spend my life with that I would bring into my life on a marriage level. And when I met her, I realized, and I started seeing how she was, it, it really restored my, my faith in femininity and in grace and all the things that a man wants to see when he considers taking a woman into his life. And I really thank God for that because I was in kind of a bad, a bad and lonely place. And uh, 
meeting you really restored my faith in so many things. So. Well, same here. And, you know, last week we were talking about, I mean, how gracious is, and I know that Joe has said before that when the woman is like that, then they're wanting to open the door or they're wanting, you know, like you say, to bring the roses. And so it is, it, 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 it all works together and it can work together. No matter where you are in your companionship, it can all be started over. And, and it, uh, it just, passages like this, you know. And other passages too, you know, I, um, I wasn't familiar with Proverbs 31 when I first met Gwen. But after I had met her, I read Proverbs 31, and I said, my goodness, if there was ever, ever a woman that defined Proverbs 31, it's Gwen. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I chose to read that passage of the Bible to her at our wedding. A wife of noble character who can find. She is worth far more than rubies. Her husband has full confidence in her and lacks nothing of value. She brings him good, not harm, all the days of her life. She selects wool and flax and works with eager hands. She considered a field and buys it. Out of her earnings, she plants a vineyard. She sets about her work vigorously. Her arms are strong for her tasks. She sees that her trading is profitable and her lamp does not go out at night. She opens her arms to the poor and extends her hands to the needy. When it snows, she has no fear for her household, for all of them are clothed in scarlet. She is clothed with strength and dignity. She can laugh at the days to come. She speaks with wisdom and faithful instruction is on her tongue. Her children arise husband also and he praises her many women do noble things but you surpass them all and charm is deceptive and beauty is fleeting but a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised give her the reward she has earned and let her works bring her praise at the city gates you really do uh, personify and exemplify that woman yeah, I'm so thankful for that. But um, well, I'm, I'm I'm so grateful for what God has done in our lives. I I can't believe how real His Word is. I can't believe like I can go from being having a lump in my throat to being submissive to being anxious now to show respect, and it's constant, constant texting and constant, you know, telling him, you know, constant, you know, building him up, and then in turn, you know, the woman is built up. So. Wow, what, what a reciprocal thing that God has created that's symbolic of our relationship with God. It's so symbolic of how to be, and it restores everyone's faith in humanity if you see people that are married that want to be with each other all day long. I mean, it's like, it's exciting to have that type, that, that you can go that deep, and I have no doubt it's only going to get better because it, it has been. So, I mean, every day gets better. It's exciting. It's, it's an amazing um, equation that God put together. Uh, he really is the, the ultimate orchestrator. It's an amazing thing. And that doesn't mean that, that life goes without the trials that, w that we deal with sometimes on a daily basis, but it gives you the opportunity to, to put those things into motion, into action, and actually watch them work. And it's, it's an amazing thing. It is, and it's fun. It is fun. We're having fun. We are having fun. So thank you for listening. That's just a little taste and a little edge of what's going back and forth here, <laughs> but keeping the word, and we just pray that everyone has a better day and a better life. We love you guys. And um, just looking forward to seeing you next time. Bye, guys. Love y'all. Love you. So now you want to you want to go like fight, like have a real argument? 
Yeah, dude, try it. Let's continue with the one we were having before we started. Because <laughs> I still feel like you were wrong. <laughs> I was wrong. That's how this works. He's always <clears> right. <throat> <laughs> it is. We didn't tell you that part, did we? <laughs> you think I'm always right? I don't. I think you're wrong. I mean. I'm wrong. This is complicated. Okay, so you're you're right that you're not always right, that I'm wrong that you are always right. Wrong. <laughs> you know, she really is an amazing lady. I come home from a hard day at work. I come in and say, honey, I'm home. What'd you make for dinner? And she says, reservation. <laughs> It's not true. I love to cook. In fact, um, I love serving. I will say something to add to this. I actually, because of all this, what comes back around is I love serving Joe. I love it. And uh, taking him food. I got you a steamed sandwich today. She steamed me a turkey cheese sandwich today in this beautiful steamer that we have. And, I, and she knows that I love that. I came home from the airport and there is an amazing meal waiting for me. And guys, I mean, come on. That is the ultimate thing, to come home to a really good food like that with a loving, beautiful wife. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Heavens be praised. <laughs> be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell so you are notified when we have a new video. Thankful for living, yeah. And I'm thankful for living, thankful for living.